Konnichiwa. This is Robert Heiduk and I'm here with Adnan. Hi. And today we're going to show you how to improve motor skills with Katsu. Katsu is most commonly known with strength training or rehabilitation. While this is true, only few people know that it is possible to improve your motor skills with Katsu. Many sports require the mastery of motor skills, not only in the condition when you are fresh, they require it also when you are fatigued. And to show you this, we have prepared a little experiment for you. We picked up a very common motor skill, in this case juggling, and what we want to show you is the following. First, Adnan will show you juggling with two types of balls when he is fresh. These are very light foam balls and what we're now going to do is watch him, his performance, when he is fresh. So it looks quite stable. Okay, thank you. Now he's switched to the F, uh, heavier balls. Nice. It's very stable. It's a good performance. Okay, thank you, Adnan. And what we're now going to do is put on the katsu bands, set up his base pressure, find his optimal pressure, and then we're doing some uh, very light exercises to create a very high level of fatigue in a very short period of time. And then we will compare his performance to the condition when he is fresh. here with Adnan and what we did is one set of triceps extensions, one set of biceps curls and one set of shoulder presses to create a high level of fatigue and uh, lactic acid. And now we're going to recheck his performance in juggling. Adnan, it's your turn. Okay, thank you. What we are seeing is a breakdown in his performance and now we're going to Recheck it with the other balls. So look at his face. It's obvious that his effort is higher than in the condition being fresh. So thank you, Adnan. Thank you very much. So uh, now what we're going to do is to release the pressure. And now the question is why we have observed a decrease in performance. The answer is quite simple, because he has never practiced it. So usually it's very difficult to create the same level of fatigue like in a real competition, because it takes very long time for recovery. And this is when Katsu comes into play. With Katsu you are able to create very high levels of fatigue in a very short period of time without creating any damage on the body, and after that the athlete is able to recover very, very fast. So this was a nice a little example how you can um, imply Katsu in uh, your real training session for creating high levels amount of fatigue. I hope you like it. See you next time on this channel.